Welcome to Talking Time with Buford T. Shylock. So today, I'm actually going to be doing a restoration video. It's going to be in multiple parts. This is going to be the first installment. Going to be taking apart a Seiko 16, or sorry, Seiko 7005A. Yes, it is shiny, and it's functioning, but it's very dirty. So, shall we, we shall begin. So, always be mindful that I learned the hard way. This particular screw is a real pain to get out without scratching the movement. But, uh, this is actually the first restoration video that I've ever done. So, just bear with me. During a lot of this video, since I'm not used to fixing or working on watches under the camera, I'm going to do a lot of Unscrewing with the tweezer once I get something started to back ready to be started to back out. Just so that I don't damage the movement. So, there's the uh, piece of a winder. I don't know what this piece is called, but the pull lever here engages with it to turn the mainspring arbor. Which in turn turns the mainspring. And so, okay, so I'm gonna unpower the mainspring and just to remind you. I do much better working on these without doing the camera. This is just for uh, entertainment purposes only, if you know what I mean. This isn't a customer watch. This is a personal watch. But I do do I do customer watches as well, and I'm so familiar with the. 7005 series and the 6139 that I know it by heart. But like I was say saying earlier, it's going to be, the, these series of videos are going to be in multiple parts. I already took these two screws out, so. But the reason, reason why... I wanted to do this is because, not because it's strictly just a restoration video. I mean, I know there are many people, many, many people that like it watching these, but it's not so much for the restoration purposes. It's showing that. I'm not all talk, if you know what I mean, when it comes to restoring watches. I mean, there's quite a few people out there, not, not naming them, but they claim to work on their own watches and stuff like that, but I don't want people to think, oh, he's just... Saying it because it's neat. I want to show people that I'm not just all talk. I actually do what I say in this, like with this stuff. Where I say, oh, I restored a 6139. I want to show people that I'm not fibbing. But, uh, see here? Just takes a second to focus, but, uh, see, right? Come on. Right here, it was grinding here. 
and a bit here. But it's, for being a filthy movement, it is shiny. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's filthy, but it's not hazy. And I just, I love these 7,000, 7,000 series movements. They're just, they're fun and relaxing to work on. I don't know about a lot of other people, but for me, working on watches is therapeutic. Or not therapeutic, but after a long school day, because I'm homeschooled, it just, it's so nice to be able to just work on this stuff. And I like playing video games, but this I like more because it's, it's productive. It's not just something, enjoyment of making things really look nice. For me, it's more of just overall enjoyment for me. And plus, adding the reason why I want to make these restoration videos is because I want people, I mean, I've had customers before, like relatives and different friends that they were very pleased with the work I did, but I want to appeal not just to relatives or friends, but I want to appeal to the watch community on YouTube. Come on. One sec. There we are. Just don't worry, nothing's broken. Just want to make sure that it stayed that way, that it didn't break. But yes, it's fine. The coil is fine. See? Okay. And so now, I just, I really like this uh, Sua system. Because this is, oh, come on, focus. Come on. But uh, this is the click and the click spring. Which I thought was just awesome. Because it's that many more pieces that are simplified that you don't have to worry about breaking. It's just... Danny, Danny and Sua did a really good job. But for simplicity, Sua did better, I think. But like I said, they both do amazing watch designs. So, like this stuff... Like the mainspring and the paw lever, I'll take off off camera so that just because it's easier for me. And I I think you guys have seen that many a time. And oh come on, don't worry. Everything's fine. Come on. Okay. Put that right there. Okay. So. And don't worry. I do restorations much better off camera. But I'm still I'm still trying my best. See? That's clean. I mean dirty, but it's shiny still, see? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what I'll do is Gently take this out and I'll inspect it off screen. So what? Uh, well, that's it for this video. So what I'll do is maybe in the next day or two I will do a video of taking the dial side. Taking that apart and then 
lubricating it, putting it back together, and all that stuff in two or three more videos after this. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.